want to check out uh, want to check out this old camp. Not a lot of places that cross the street here. Person's trying to save money going to the thrift store, taking the dialer ride. I guess do what you gotta do. Yeah, maybe that my last video going by the mall talking about the flowers. I like to use more of them. I know it's a cost. Planning is a cost. So you know. Everything costs and that. There is no it's not a product. The mall is there to sell goods. It's not there for you to smell flowers. My feet are starting to kill me again. I just, I don't know what, what happened. All of a sudden, ankles, legs, it's terrible. But, uh, yeah, so we're going to check out Kmart. This is what we're going to see. Have a look. Have a look in the doors. Maybe go around the back. The big K. Kmart used to be where Gordon Foods and Dunham's are now. That used to be our Kmart. I don't know if there was a Kmart. I think there might have been a Kmart somewhere. Maybe. No. Kmart definitely moved into the mall. Fairly certainly. Right now. Not the more I think about it. It was like a mall. Kind of, it was one of the first convenience stores or a uh, big, what do you call these stores? It's not a big box store. It's a shopping center, superstore. Superstore is lame. Like like convenience store says something, you know, convenient either by location or by the number of goods. There's got to be something that you know. A big building like this. Imagine if it was like fucking ancient times. This would be hugely impressive. Having this whole building. I mean, it's like a coliseum. Now we put them up. And they set up, you know. What? What could this possibly become? The thing is... Uh, Kmart's kind of left its mark on it, not in the paint, but in the architecture. And I guess you could you could change it. You could probably break it up. You could even put more doors. You could break it up into a mini mall. You know, there's so many things. So many, you can't even, you won't want to be able to see inside probably. You might actually have better vision than I do. Because I have the reflection. You have the reflection on that one. If I hold it up here, and I still see, still see quite a bit. It's, uh, just because there's two sections of glass. Like I mean, this looks like shit now. These flies know to come here, and there's nothing to disturb them. The spiders come here. You know, these lights are always on. You have lights on the inside. So, like, all these mosquitoes and shit get in there. They manage their way through the cracks, wherever they are. They just want to get to the light. So there's tons of dead... Dead insects. Dead, uh... There's a lot of spider shit. A lot of spider shit. And uh, bird shit. Because the birds come and eat the spiders. And, you know, potentially whatever they catch. So my plan for today was to, to try to run this phone out. It is a phone. I don't usually use phones. Yeah. And, uh... 
I'm very tired because I've been walking and uh, sort of working, not really. I wouldn't call it work. charity. Let's call it charity. This is, you know, this is another one of those spots, like the spot over at Meyer. That fence, that fence in area. This this was a wetland around here, and then they built on it. Maybe not a wetland so much as more like uh, I don't know, just a low spot in the forest. There could be springs under here though. I don't know. That's the thing, you don't know.